this workout is one day late because I was too depressed to make a video yesterday. I like to keep it real here at Beachwood Bells. Welcome to Beachwood Bells. The warm up is two rounds, one Turkish get up, five goblet squats, 20 swings. Boom. First circuit is three rounds, 10 reps of Bulgarian split squats and skull crushers. Second circuit is a 10 minute EMOM every minute on the minute. So you will need your gym flex timer or whatever timer app you like. 16 swings or 14 snatches. Do them eight per side or seven per side. You're gonna do a glute bomb for which you will need a hip circle. So we've got kettlebell, 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 hip circle. Then we're gonna do another EMOM. This one's gonna be a mountain of thrusters, double bell thrusters, which you will see in the demo. If you don't have two of the same size bell, you can switch which one's heavier between rounds, but you, you can't really go too heavy on these. I used a pair of 10 kilo bells, which are 22 and a half ish pounds a piece. If you only have something like 10 pound dumbbells, I want you to ignore the mountain I'm about to write and just do 10 reps each round. You're gonna do five thrusters first round, five the second round, then six, seven, eight, nine, then eight, seven, six, five. The reason I just, I didn't go five to 10 to five is because the thought of doing 10 thrusters in, and having not a lot of time to recover and then doing nine sounded hideous to me. And I, 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 couldn't, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it to you, I couldn't do it to me. So there's the kindness in my soul. It doesn't appear often, enjoy it. Uh, last circuit is gonna be a super set of push-ups and body weight squats. Now, if you just did 10 thrusters per round on number four, I want you to do swings instead. Otherwise, you can do body weight squats. And another ladder, you're gonna do five, four, three, two, one, plus 10, eight, six, four, two. So you'll do five push ups, 10 squats, four push ups, eight squats three, six, two, four, one, two, it'll be over. You should be done this whole workout in 45 or 50 minutes. Turkish get up, all the cues, pack that shoulder, lock that elbow straight, keep that wrist straight, don't let it extend. Take nice wide steps when you're doing your lunge. Give yourself lots of room to sit through and sweep your leg. Five goblet squats. I'm always concentrating, especially on my warm up, of really feeling every single muscle that's moving. Now I slowed that down so you could see what's going on. See my butt shake? That's because of the hip snap and because of fat cells. But the point is, um, use your fucking hip snap. That's the point. I used the word, but now I'm all confused. Here comes circuit one. If you're not going to use weight for your Bulgarian split squats, I want you to do like Coach Elise and pulse 
I'm staying in the middle of the range of motion here, not all the way down, not all the way up, keeping constant tension on my muscles since I'm only using body weight. Do that too. Skull crushers. Always a favorite. Holding that bell upside down. Go get it. Real quick tutorial on the snatch. If you have a great one arm swing, and that means you're hiking it high in your junk, you're in a vertical plank at the top, you're squeezing your quads, glutes, core, you've got your breathing technique down, then you've been cleared to be on your way to snatching because there's one more thing you should know how to do and that's a swing clean. So again, hiking it high in your junk, now you're gonna glue your elbow to your ribs and float that bell to the rack position by your collarbone, thumb to collarbone. You should be able to do these repeatedly without batching your forearm. The word volume can mean a couple of things, the amount of work you're doing, but it can also mean the the intensity with which you thrust your hips. So if you had a volume knob to lower and increase the intensity of your hip thrust, you want to finesse that knob so that when you clean your bell, you're kind of almost turning the volume down just a hair so this doesn't smack against your forearm. So once you can do this a few times, and you're loosening your grip at the top and kind of twirling your wrist with a little flare, adding the breathing, which I'm not doing because I'm talking. Now we're ready to move on to the snatch. So this is the way I teach the snatch. If you don't like it, there's another video for you. If you're still with me, keep watching. So you're gonna dead clean, press or push press. And from here, you're gonna practice dumping the bell and then parking it. And I want you to do about three rounds of three reps per side. So you're gonna clean, push, press, dump. Don't worry too much about this elbow being straight. From there, you're gonna dump, swing, high pull, all right? Do three rounds of that, a swing and a high pull per side. Then we're gaining, we're, we're, we're building a momentum here. Dump, swing, high pull, and then go for it, all right? So I'm gonna do a couple snatches. I'm gonna slow it down, and then I'm gonna talk about it. Take it all in, absorb it. Powerful hike, soften that elbow, and then you're gonna open your hand at the top right after your arm begins to straighten. It all happens so fast that really what you need to do is just practice it. Starting from the top allows you to gain so much power that the bell can float up overhead easier than if you started at the now, bottom. Now you have a choice for this 10 minute EMOM. At the top of every minute, you can do seven and seven snatches or eight and eight swing. So here's the glute bomb with your hip circle right above your knees and constant tension on the band. You're gonna do 10 glute bridges at the top of the 10th one. You're gonna pulse your legs open 10 times. Then you're gonna do nine glute bridges at the top of the ninth, pulse your legs open nine times. And you're gonna do that pattern all the way down to one and one. Sometimes you'll start sliding apart your your heels from your butt and you just reposition your body as you go um if you stop a, a bunch of times to call out jesus that's fine the thruster imam looks like this we've got a v 
kettlebell situation and I'm standing about a foot away from them. Tilt them towards me and I'll hike them high in my junk. So Back to the rack position, hike, park. Five reps first round, five reps second round. Six, seven, eight, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Remember, if you only have a pair of dumbbells, you're just gonna start here and up. Make sure they are touching your shoulders when they come down and then um, if you have the mobility to touch your elbows to your knees during your squat do that Holy fuck, just demonstrating i do my push-ups on bells because my shoulder is tweaky i squeeze my elbows into my ribs just to keep my um Shoulder girdle, kind of a stable. One, two, three, four, five. And then you'll go right into it. Try not to rest too much here. Here's it from the side. Six. Heels stay on the floor. Back stays straight. Quads start burning. Good. Thanks for working out with me. Seriously, if it wasn't for this, I'd, I'd never get out of bed. This, well, I get out of bed for bathroom breaks and for coffee. No, I just, you know, I suffer from depression and working out helps but I haven't been able to get out of bed a lot. Um, my husband spoils me, he makes dinner. I feel terrible, but I eat it. And uh, if you're, any of you are feeling like this, you're not alone. Um, beating yourself up for the way you're feeling is the worst thing. So just the more accepting you can do like i i posted some political shit online and i got called um a hippie bitch a millennial hedonistic narcissistic whore um ignorant stupid and aside from hippie and millennial none of that is news to me so um, I guess the one cool thing about self-hatred is that no matter what people throw at you, you've thought it about yourself a thousand times and a thousand times worse. Not that I invite it or enjoy it, but if anybody out there appreciates this, I've done my job. All right, uh, stay safe, stay sane, stay strong, stay home if you can, wear your mask, don't be a dick accept your fucking shit and we're all crazy bye